Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick run through of the WebGL renderer for a Team Fortress 2 level that I demonstrated on Game Start this September. Uh, so as we go through this, you'll notice that there's a lot of things that are kind of buggy. You can see the lighting on the supply cabinet there is a little off. Um, some of the, the shaders aren't quite working, like the bucket over there should have a nice cube map on it. It doesn't. Um, but Overall, aside from a couple of the bugs with the lighting and whatnot, most of the content is here and being rendered. The important thing to realize here is that we're actually dealing with about 1.2 million triangles worth of geometry over the course of the entire level. And that comes from about 200 megs worth of resources that are being sent down to the browser. Obviously, we're not pushing all of those at once. We are doing some geometry culling in here, but it does give you a really good sense of the type and scope of resources that we can deal with with a, a WebGL application because this is a very complex scene. This is from a fairly modern game and it actually shows fairly well against something like the Quake 3 demo that I did where it was a great demo of the, just a proof of concept that yeah this WebGL thing works but when it comes down to you know actual games that we want to see in the browser uh, we want something that really is more relevant in, in a modern market and this is the type of game that yeah it's getting a lot of gameplay done right now. A couple of technical notes about it you'll notice that especially right here we don't have any displacement surfaces working correctly they just kind of show up as fl flat blocks obviously as you saw earlier we don't have water working most any like shiny surface something that has a reflection isn't showing up correctly right now um, and I should also note that the frame rate is showing is maybe 25, 26 frames per second in here, and that's just the limitation of the recorder. Uh, it does run an absolutely solid 60 frames per second when you're running it on its own. And I've even seen it running up to 120 frames per second in the right circumstances, so there's a lot of extra room for things like physics and AI in, in your script. You're not being completely bogged down by the renderer. The code for this is up on GitHub right now, so anybody who wants to can grab it and play around with it, but I'm not going to be posting a live demo, uh, at least not of this particular level, because it, it does belong to Valve, and it's, like I said, 200 megs. I really don't want to do that to my web server. You can read up on the technical details of this demo at my blog, tojicode.com, or you can always get in touch with me through Twitter or Google+.